In this video, I'm going to explain how you can have almost unbelievably powerful full body non ejaculatory prostate orgasms. Hey guys, I'm Jonathan White. I'm here to help you master your sexual energy so you can magnetize your ideal life. If you want to learn more about sexual mastery, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to stay notified when I release new videos. Check out my free ejaculation control course. There's a link in the video description below. So I want to share how you can have super powerful full body prostate orgasms. I realize that this is kind of a taboo subject for a lot of men. There's a lot of homophobia around this, but it's important to understand that enjoying stimulation in any part of your body does not uh, dictate your sexual preference, right? So there's nothing to be insecure about. With that said, let's get into it. So I remember when I was a teenager, I watched a movie called Road Trip. And in this movie, these guys go to a clinic to sell their semen, right? And one of the guys in the movie, you know, there's an attractive nurse and he's like, oh, I think I need some help. And she ends up giving him a prostate massage and milking his prostate. <laughs> and it kind of planted the seed in my mind, like, oh, this is a way that men can experience orgasms. It was, it was very interesting to me. And of course, like most men, I experienced a bit of insecurity about this issue when I started actually exploring this myself. But what I discovered was that this is an amazing source of pleasure and potential fulfillment, even spiritual awakening for men. I'll get more into that. But the prostate is basically the G spot for men. It's located inside the anus. And unfortunately, most men completely neglect their prostate. And this is reflected in the amount of prostate cancer and the amount of prostate issues that men have. 50% of men have prostate issues at some point in their life. So caring for your prostate is extremely, extremely important. And massaging your prostate is one of the easiest and most pleasurable ways to keep it healthy and to deepen your orgasmic pleasure. So I wanna share the first prostate orgasm I had personally. So I started researching this, you know, I had heard about experiencing non-ejaculatory prostate orgasms and naturally I was very interested in this. I ended up discovering a prostate massaging device called an Aneros, which is fairly common. And there's a forum on Aneros.com where men describe their experiences with having, they call them super O's, these prostate orgasms that are absolutely thousands of times more powerful than ejaculatory orgasms. And, you know, I'd read through these posts and I was like, wow, this sounds amazing. But it took me quite a bit of time to actually experience this for myself. I first started experimenting with the prostate massaging device about four years ago. And it was actually only fairly recently that I had my first full on super O prostate orgasm, but it was well worth the journey. This was an absolutely life changing experience for me. It was one of the most powerful experiences period for me, but definitely one of the most intense sexual experiences I've ever had. This was a completely hands free, no active stimulation practice with the Aneros devices. You simply insert them and then spend some time just relaxing. I'll, I'll, I'll explain more how to actually do this, but basically you spend some time just relaxing and then you start to engage certain muscular contractions and after a period of training, eventually you get into these powerful full body orgasms. For me, this orgasm felt like more intense than any substance I've ever taken. You know, I've experimented with psychedelic substances and this was definitely up there with those, in fact, much better because it was completely natural, completely organic experience. No substance, no drug required. What surprised me was the complete shift in consciousness, the expansion of consciousness I experienced. It's really hard to put this experience into words, but it was really like, I started to merge with the universe and it deeply opened me up to some very, very intense feelings. In fact, it scared the hell out of me when I first started. I was like, what is happening? But the pleasure, you know, these waves of pleasure through my body were so intense that I surrendered to the experience. And I think that there's definitely a connection between prostate orgasms for men and the awakening of the Kundalini. I've had some Kundalini experiences in my life and this was definitely a Kundalini experience. It was a huge shift in my consciousness. Time and space were altered. It was like every single energy center in my body was activated, you know, from the most like lustful sexual thoughts and experiences to the most, you know, spiritual heart connection, connection with the entire cosmos. It was all happening within my body. It was absolutely phenomenal. This was light years beyond, you know, the traditional five second ejaculatory orgasm where you spit out some fluid and then you fall over asleep, right? Now this kept going on and on for several minutes and I had the feeling that it could have gone for a lot longer, but I felt like my body was just opening up to this type of experience. It was almost too much energy to handle. So I'm just sharing that because this is the potential experience that you can have when you awaken your prostate and learn to work with it. So now I want to share how you can actually do this. I highly recommend you check out 
uh, the forums on aneros.com. There's a lot of really, really great posts by very experienced people who've been doing this for a lot longer than I have. So you'll find a lot of valuable resources there. It's how I learned how to do this, but I'm just gonna show you some practical advice on how you can discover this. Every man is going to have a different journey with this. Some men respond to prostate pleasure right away. For others, it takes you know months or even years to sort of rewire your system to have this type of sexual experience. It's a completely different type of experience than the traditional ejaculatory orgasm. It's completely different than penis stimulation. Typically, penis stimulation is very forced. It's very tense. You know, traditional sex, we're very tense in our bodies and we're just trying to like really rush into this point. You cannot get to the prostate orgasm with that sort of mindset. You really have to relax, surrender, and let go. Traditional stimulation, in my experience, isn't that effective for having prostate orgasms, meaning that reaching in there and like, you know, uh, stimulating vigorously, it's not going to get you there typically. It really is a new experience where, again, what I found helpful was using the external prostate massager. You're gonna need some time devoted to doing this, right? If you really wanna make progress with it, you have to practice consistently. I would say doing at least a session or two a week, and you wanna give yourself at least an hour to do this. It really takes some time to get into this. So basically what you do is you insert the prostate massager and just spend 10 minutes or so doing deep abdominal breathing, inhaling deep into your belly, exhaling, relaxing, and just release all tension from your body slowly. And then once you feel very, very relaxed, you start to play with uh, contractions in the pelvic floor. So squeezing the perineum muscles, squeezing the sphincter muscles, the anus. You have to experiment with different rhythms with it. Squeezing as you inhale, relaxing as you exhale, things like that. And then just holding a gentle squeeze for several breaths and then relaxing. There's really no certain technique that's going to do it for you. Basically, you just have to experiment and find what works for you. It's also important that you're aroused when you do this. So I don't recommend using porn or anything like that. It tends to be overstimulating. It's best just to think of a sexual fantasy, something that arouses you. And you'll notice, you'll feel in your body, especially your prostate area, you'll feel a response to that. Eventually you'll start to feel this buzzing in your prostate area and you focus on that sensation. Maybe do a slight contraction, uh, contracting your glutes, contracting your pelvic floor muscles. There's a lot of different things involved. And so basically alternate periods of time where you're gently squeezing. You don't wanna to squeeze too hard, but gently squeezing to massage your prostate with a device and then relax and just feel deeply. You really need to keep your mind in that area. And you'll start to feel, in the beginning, you'll have some very subtle uh, feelings of warmth, kind of these electrical buzzing sensations. That's all you're going to feel for probably the first several sessions you do. And again, it's important not to be too goal oriented with this. I personally got a little bit frustrated early on in my practice and I stopped doing it for a while, which is why it took me so long. So it's important not to go into a session thinking, I'm gonna have this amazing orgasm. It's probably gonna be quite unimpressive your first few times. It's more of a process of rewiring yourself to have a completely different experience of orgasm. So simply focus on relaxing your body, maintaining arousal, and just feel what's happening in your prostate area. Playing with muscular contractions, holding them, relaxing completely, just feeling what's happening there. That's basically what it is, you know, and eventually, as you practice more and more, your prostate will become more and more sensitive and you'll be able to get yourself into these powerful, powerful orgasmic states simply by focusing on your prostate, doing a few gentle muscular contractions and keeping yourself aroused. One more note here is that for men, it's important to regulate your ejaculations. If you try to do one of these sessions maybe a day or two after an ejaculatory orgasm, you're probably not going to have enough sexual energy built up to get into the states. This is why semen retention is very important for men. You will have much more sexual energy, much more arousal, and you'll have a much better session. So that's a pretty basic overview. Again, go to aneros.com, check out the forums to like learn more in depth. And if there's enough interest, I might make another video on uh, some more in-depth information about this topic. So that's it for now. Hopefully this has piqued your interest. And again, this is a very important aspect for men to keep your prostate healthy. And this is a simple way to do it. And this can be an absolutely profound, life-changing experience to have one of these prostate super O orgasms. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and leave a comment below. Have you ever had a prostate orgasm? I'd love to hear. Stay woke and have a great day, my friends. Mm -hmm.